Wow guys, that was a really fun day of taking heaps of photos and videos. I can't wait to put my memory card in my computer to see what everything looks like. Wow, my memory card that has all my memories from the day in it. I'm excited. What? Where are all my photos and videos from today gone? Hey, what is up everybody? It is AJ here and in today's video, we are gonna talk about that moment you realize that you have accidentally deleted everything off your memory card. Now this can occur through errors such as formatting or accidentally going through and deleting your memory card, but fear not because in today's video, I'm gonna show you what actually happens to that file you thought was gone forever and how you can recover it in a couple of easy steps. Of course, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you want to supercharge ways your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. With that being said, let's get into this. So the first thing we're gonna do is jump over to easyrest.com, which is one of my favorite data recovery tools, and I've got them linked down below for you to jump to this site. You can see they're available for both PC and for Mac, and before you have to buy it, you can of course get the free version to make sure that it does have the data recovery and all your files are gonna be there before you recover. So I'm gonna download the free trial from Mac right now. This is gonna take a couple of seconds and then we're gonna install it as well. You can see we have Mac data recovery trial down here and we're simply gonna install this on our computer. Cool, so the program has finished installing. It only took a few seconds. Now we're gonna plug in our SD card so we can actually start scanning it. And then we're gonna launch the program as well. So the program's installed, the SD card is plugged in. And you can see here that on the left hand side we have data disk recovery as well as SD card recovery. Already knows our regular hard drive opposed to our external memory card. So we're simply gonna select on SD card recovery and it pulls across the name of the card, the size, and of course the brand. So down the bottom here in big blue it says search for lost files and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start searching for lost files right now. And then EasyOS is gonna start searching for all the possible files that have been deleted off your memory card. Depending on the size of your card and of course how much data you have, this may take a bit of time. But you can see this has already started within the first couple of seconds. It's found 89, 122 files. All these things that were accidentally deleted from Christmas uh, time off this memory card. So I'm really impressed with how quickly this is actually finding the photos in the videos. And you can also see on the left hand side here, it shows the type of files, whether it's a picture currently at 292 pictures that it's found and over 40 videos. So this is telling us it's gonna remain about an hour or so before it scans the entire card. But I actually think it's gonna be a lot faster than that given the fact that it's already done about 30%. So what I'd recommend now is just let this run and then you're gonna see if it's recovered all of your files. After our 20 minutes, the backup tool has found over 3,000 files, both photos and videos, and it says it has about an hour to go until it's fully scanned. If you wanna be 100% sure everything gets backed up, let it run for the next hour, but I can see pretty much all of my photos and videos are here, so I'm gonna stop the backup now. It will give you a prompt asking if you do wanna stop. I do, so I'm just gonna hit stop, and then what I'm gonna do is gonna select on the all path file on the left hand side and select all my photos and videos and everything that EasyOS has found. From here, I'm gonna go down to the bottom, the blue button that says recovery at the bottom and I'm gonna select on restore. You can choose either a local or a cloud backup. I'm gonna save this locally to my desktop and then I'm just gonna select on the folder that I wanna transfer the 20 gigs of files that it's found onto. One step that I did miss in recording this video was upgrading from the free trial to the pro version of the software. So I'm gonna walk you through that really quickly. There are two versions of the EasyOS data recovery, one for PC and one for Mac, each with a monthly, annual, or a lifetime option. There are actually different prices for both the PC and the Mac, so make sure you choose the one that's right for you. Of course, one really good thing is both these come with a 30-day money-back satisfaction guarantee. So if you're not satisfied with the product, you can contact EasyOS for a refund. But in my experience, as you've seen, as well as the Trustpilot scores and reviews, it's an easy-to-use program that works really well. Now that all the files have been recovered, I just need to go through and find the photos and videos that I want. One thing to note is that the recovery is great, but sometimes the photos and videos end up in randomly named folders. So make sure you check every folder and subfolder to make sure you don't miss anything. And there you have it, it is that easy to restore photos and videos you thought were deleted forever from an external memory card or hard drive. I do want to let you guys know that those photos, videos and that memory card was accidentally deleted during Christmas time and we did need to recover the data from them. I've worked with EasyOS in the past and I reached out to them for a free product tee in exchange for a video demonstrating and showing how easy the process is. 
So thank you to EZOS for providing that product key. Hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And of course, if you want to supercharge to raise your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.